What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS3 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at installing Webman and Multiman to configure our jailbroken PS3. So what I mean by configuring it is stuff like your fan speed, getting access to plugins, uh, FTP so you can copy files from your computer to your console and vice versa, and also being able to mount and launch your games, plus a whole bunch of other settings that allow you to customize your jailbroken uh, PS3. So very very useful to have one of these things installed. We're going to install Multiman and Webman. Technically you can just do with one of them like Webman on its own will do but we're going to install both because one is a plugin, Webman is a plugin that runs in the background and uh, Multiman is an actual native homebrew app for the PS3. So we want to install both just so that we kind of have a backup if one of them fails, like the plugin fails for Webman, then you have Multiman that you can access. Plus Multiman has some additional features that Webman doesn't have and vice versa. So we're going to install both here. And in the previous video we looked at how to jailbreak the PS3 fully, so if you haven't caught up yet, check the link in the description, that will link you to the playlist which has all the episodes in this series. So what we're going to do first of all is head over to store.brewology.com and go to Multiman and download Multiman. So we're going to select Multiman here and we're going to select the base version. Even though it says it's for 4.82, it will work on 4.84, so just download the base version. Then we're going to go to Homebrew. Again, this will all be linked in the description, but if you scroll down, you'll find uh, Webman. And we're not actually going to install Webman, we're going to install Webman Mod, which is uh, kind of like an improved version. And we're going to download the top one here, Webman Mod 4.84. Just click the download link, and then you'll have them downloaded to your computer. Once you have them on your computer, you're going to copy them over to a USB drive, making sure that the USB drive is formatted in FAT32 format. Very important that it's in FAT32 format. If it's an NTFS format or XFAT format, you'll have to right click and format it and select FAT32 as the file system and format it. Now, if you can't format it because the USB stick is too large, use an external formatting tool. I always have Aomi Partition Assistant installed on my computer because it's just a great kind of like all-in-one tool for formatting and partitioning your hard drives and USB drives. Plus it's free and it looks similar to Disk Manager so um, if you download Aomi Partition Assistant you can format your drive in FAT32 by right clicking, going to Format Partition and selecting FAT32 as the option. Click OK and then you can apply the format in the top left and that'll format it in FAT32. So I'll put a link to that program in the description. So once you have your USB in FAT32, we're gonna copy the package files for Webman and Multiman to the root of the USB drive. Don't put them in any folders, just put them in the root of the drive. Okay, and once you have them copied over, you can plug your USB drive into your PS3. Okay, and on the PS3, we're gonna head to Game, Package Manager, Install Package Files, and select Standard from your USB drive and then select both Multiman and Webman. So we'll install Multiman first here. So there we go, install completed, and there it is right there. And then we'll go back to Package Manager, install Package Files Standard, and install Webman Mod. Okay, and there we go, that's both of them installed. So let's look at Multiman first, so we'll launch this. Okay, so when you first run Multiman, you'll run into the agreement, so you just have to accept all of these agreements and sign your soul to the devil and you'll be good. Okay, and then Multiman should load up here. Okay, so once you boot into Multiman here, we can head to um, MMCM and do updates. So you can check for updates and install the latest update for Multiman. Then head to the settings and go down to FTP service. Make sure that's enabled with no timeout. It should be by default. Then we're going to go down to XMMB Sparks and make sure that that is disabled. It will just speed things up a little bit. Then we'll scroll down further all the way down to theme audio and disable that. That'll turn off the music and uh, also make things run a little bit smoother. And then we're going to go down to inactivity timeout. Make sure that is disabled. Uh, screen saver, disable that. And system auto off, we're going to disable that as well. So that will just prevent the system from timing out or switching off randomly while you're like halfway through transferring a big game over FTP or something like that. Uh, that's not fun when it randomly disconnects you, so that will stop that from happening. All right, so that's all the settings that we need to configure. So the good thing about Multiman is it has a file manager built in here. So if you select that, you can use the right stick to control the mouse, and then you can go to PS3 root with a double click of the X button. 
and then you can you know go to your hard drive you have access to your file system you can copy and paste files and uh, cut and paste files delete files create new folders all that kind of stuff is available from here so that's a pretty useful feature you can also do stuff like uh, dump your disk games to the hard drive uh, from within here and also launch any games that you have installed on the hard drive or usb drive from right here so that's uh, a lot of useful options there's also themes you can download to customize the look and uh, feel of multi-man as well so quite a lot of stuff you can do in there but uh, like i said we're not really going to be using this much we're pretty much just going to keep this as a backup if we need it um, but most more than likely we're not going to be using it that often uh, but the file manager is definitely useful and it does have some useful features so what we're going to do now is exit back out to the ps3's home screen which you can do by selecting quit to xmb screen okay so now that we're back onto the ps3's home screen we can launch webman mod so it says here hold down l1 for full edition or x for light edition now, if you just launch it normally without holding down either L1 or X, then it will just launch the full edition, which is the version we want. So just go ahead and press X to launch Webman Mod. Now, what this will do is it will actually reboot your PS3. And when the system reboots, you'll hear that the fans are going absolutely insane. And that's because Webman does increase your fan speed. It uses a preset uh dynamic fan speed and you'll also have this folder now that shows up um on your home screen in the game section okay so to shut the fans up you have to go to webman games webman setup and launch the webman setup and this will launch the configuration page for the webman plugin so right here you have access to the fans so if you head to syscon if you select syscon that's the normal system configuration for the fans so if you save that that will put the fans back to their normal uh, default speed and if you head back to setup you can customize the fans now personally i would recommend you putting the fan speed up higher than the normal system configuration especially if you're going to be running um, you know ps2 games and ps1 games where you, the system has to use the emulator because that is going to generate additional heat so i would actually recommend a manual fan speed because that way you can set the fans to a speed that's just tolerable in terms of noise but it's high enough to keep the fans running at a constant speed that will you know lower the temperature so uh, a manual fan speed's pretty decent of like 35 percent 40 percent you know 45 percent if you can handle the noise um, and then save that so i'm going to save at 35 percent which does up the fans a little bit from their normal system configuration but it shouldn't be too loud to pick up in the microphone hopefully so yeah there we go so that's fan speed you can customize your fan speed there and you can set a preset for the ps2 emulation so that when you are running a ps2 game the fans will kick up higher to keep the system cool and prevent it from overheating if you head to uh, cpu slash rsx that will tell you what the current temperature is and uh, generally you want to keep it kind of in the, the below 70 if you can set like 68 69 degrees is good um, you know, having it occasionally at 71, 72, 73 degrees is not going to kill the system. But being in the kind of mid 70s over a prolonged period of time could cause uh, damage to your system. So it's a good idea just to put the fans to a little bit higher than what you would normally run them at. And uh, then you should be good. So, so this is the configuration page for Webman Mod and it's been hosted on the PS3 locally on its local host. So even if you're offline, not connected to the internet, you'll still be able to access the configuration page to customize the plugin. But if you are connected to the internet, you can actually access it remotely on any other device on your home network. If you just get the IP address of your PS3 by going into the system settings and system information, you can then enter that IP address into uh, your web browser of your computer or any other web browser on your home network and it will take you to the same configuration page so if i enter that ip address there in uh, my web browser on my computer then there you go I have, I have access to the configuration page so the good thing about this is i have basically remote access to my ps3 now from another device um, so i have access to the file system i can download files that are on my um, ps3 directly to the computer i can remotely restart the ps3 or shut it down from here I can also go to games and actually launch my games. So any games I have installed, I can just click this and it'll launch it on the PS3. So just to show you here, there's the capture card. So if I just uh, click this, then there you go. You can see it got loaded there and it gets loaded. So it just straight up launches it directly on the PS3. And you can also unmount it here as well. So you just click here to unmount the game and that will unmount it. 
So you can remotely launch games. If we head into the uh, setup section, of course, there's the fan speed configuration. There's also the ID, PS, and MEM setup. If you open that, you've got your CIDs here, your console IDs. So, you know, if your console gets banned, then you can buy a CID from another console that isn't banned and replace the CIDs in here with your new ones and that will unban your system. So you can click the little sunglasses to reveal the uh, CID. So then also you can install package files. If you click here, um, that will install package files and then any package files that you have installed uh, onto on your hard drive, you can install uh, remotely. Then you've also got PS3 MAPI. If you go in here, you can send notify messages to the um, to the screen. So if I send that, there you go, you get the little notify message that pops up. But then you have a lot of other options in here. So you can also dump memory from within here. And you also have access to your plugins in here as well. So there's already a FTP web server already uh, loaded here, which comes as part of Webman. And uh, that's just running in the background. So when you're running a game or you're just here, here on the home screen like I am right here, then you can FTP back and forth between your console and your computer. So to do that, you'll need to grab yourself an FTP client like FileZilla. You can do FTP from within Windows itself, but it's not very stable with the PS3's uh, web server. So uh, if you download a FTP client like FileZilla or WinSCP, then you can enter the PS3's IP address into the host put in 21 as the port number and connect. And then it takes a little while typically for this to pop up, but give it a few seconds and it will retrieve the directory listing. First time takes a while, there you go. So you have access to all of the files right here on your hard drive. So if I head to dev hdd0, and there you go, you have access to all of your files in here. So, so now you can actually install files directly to the hard drive. If you wanna install package files, you can install them to the packages folder. Just delete this that's in there. So if I wanted to install Webman and Multiman this way now, I can just copy them directly into this folder. And there you go, that copies them directly from my computer to the hard drive of the PS3. And then I can go to the package manager, install package files, and this time select PS3 system storage. And now they show up here, uh, so I can install them directly from the hard drive. Um, and then you can of course delete files, create directories, copy the files back out to your computer from uh, the PS3's hard drive. So it's a great way of copying files, especially when we come to install games, we're gonna be using this uh, to install games. So that is FTP. So that's basically Webman. And if you head into Webman games and go to Webman setup, you've got more options here to refresh your games list. You can access the individual web pages from here. You can launch them, uh, network folders. You can unmount the plugin, unload the plugin. Uh, restart PS3, shut down PS3. And then you have access to all your game folders here for your PS3 games, your PS2, PS1, and PlayStation Portable games, and Blu-ray and DVD. So if you have any like Blu-ray rips or PlayStation Portable rips, PS1 games, PS2 games, PS3 games, then you can just go to the folder and launch the game right here. This is what makes it so much more convenient for launching games and installing games than uh, multi-man because the problem with multi-man is you have to actually launch the app first wait for it to load up then go to the game section select your game uh, which will kick you back to the xmb and then you can launch it whereas with webman you just have to go to well you don't have to launch any program you can just go straight to webman games go to your playstation 3 games select your game and it will load it straight away so it's much much faster and more convenient plus for using ftp if you want to use FTP on Multiman, you have to launch Multiman and then transfer your files while you're on Multiman because the FTP server only runs while you're actually in Multiman. Whereas with Webman, uh, it's you know a plugin running in the background, so you can always connect uh, with FTP to your PS3 even if you're running a game or you're just here on the home screen. So. So that's how you configure your jailbroken PS3 with Webman and Multiman. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at how to install PS3 games plus DLC and updates. Uh, then we'll also be looking at installing PS1 games, PSP games and PS2 games and getting those all running on your jailbroken PS3. And then in future episodes, we'll be looking at all kinds of other stuff, emulators, other homebrew, uh, Linux, uh, going online with the system, uh, modding your games, all that kind of stuff is going to be covered in the future episodes. So, so keep checking the playlist link in the description for when the future episodes come out and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.